Okay, let's build a V8 engine. I'll show you how to do that. So what we're going to do right now is these are the parts that I laid out on the website um, to build it. And I'm going to use the cross plane crankshaft. So that's picking that crankshaft versus the flat plane. And you can learn more about that on the crankshafts page if you go visit that. So what we're going to do first is we're going to build um, the, the cylinder banks. And what you're going to need is, like these are laid out, two rows of four of these. So conveniently we'll use our friction pins to connect all these together and I'm gonna just do that off camera really quick alright we're back and now we've assembled our our cylinder banks and we put a pin on each end on the inside that'll connect us to our crankshaft later Now I chose the uh, cross plane crankshaft versus uh, instead of the flat plane because I like the way that it makes the pistons move a little better and there's some custom parts in here. You'll have to go to the Cross Planes uh, webpage and the blog to see how to make that. So we're going to make that right now. So this will be the one that connects to, this is, consider this our drive shaft. And we need, this will be our central axle that the whole uh, crankshaft will kind of rotate around. So we're going to deviate from this point and always return back to it. So just think of that. So we're going to grab our first deviation. We're going to go up. And we'll put our, hopefully I can keep this in the camera. We'll put our pistons on. And there we go, we have our first deviation. Now, to take our second, we're going to have to use a custom part. I just cut an axle in half, so it was a one. We're going to want to go um, rotate 90 degrees each deviation. So let's grab another piece of the crankshaft. So now we've got the upward deviation. We return back to our, um, our central drive, our drive shaft um, plane. We're going to deviate now at a 90 degree angle to the right. I'll put those on. Now we need a special piece that I had to invent, or I had to butcher some parts to make, and that's just this. It, yeah, Lego doesn't make parts that allow you to do this, which is unfortunate, but oh well. We'll hook that together. I'm gonna see that I'm gonna have to turn this upside down actually because this piece is kind of specific. It kind of forces the way the whole crankshaft goes. Okay, so now we've got half our crankshaft. Let's build the other half. Same situation. We're going to throw our pieces on. This will be our exit piece. And we're going to use our little axle again to connect this. Let's make sure we get this right. We've got up. We've got over, up, this one's going to have to be down, and then this one's going to have to be um, left. Alright, I'll throw our pistons on there. And there we go. So you see we have the central plane that we always return to, and that is a cross plane crankshaft. We have 90 degree increments. Now let's attach the crankshaft to um, the cylinder bank banks. All you do is just stick them in. It's kind of a little, you know, you have to jiggle it a little bit. Oh, I'm on the wrong side. As you can see, I need to have my piston, my uh, friction pins be on the inside. There we go. Let's throw this sucker back in. It's worth it in the end, even though having eight is a pain in the butt. Okay, so now we've got those. Now this is a little piece that I love. It's the triangle lift arm. And what it allows you to do is connect the, the banks to the drive shaft all with one piece. Now you could use uh, just a single one of these and use pins that there's a, this is kind of like it but how it only has a stud on one end, but actually there's ones that are just one and, one and a half, so it'll actually completely go through and snap smooth. But you could just put one there if you wanted it. I, uh, because I didn't have any on hand, I'm just using the full friction pin, which is okay, because it does allow a good connection elsewhere. And here is our engine. Let me grab the gear, throw it on it, let you see the motion. As you can see, you've got this nice wave going on versus the other uh, type of crankshaft. You would just have this up and down alternating motion. This actually gives you a kind of a, 
a sine wave or just a wave effect, and that's because of this great little crankshaft. And there you go, there is the V8 engine. I'll go I'll hook it up to a motor and attach a little action video right now.